Hey y'all, Johnny Nerd out here. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for moseying on by. Hope you like this channel. Cause I wanna talk about this bike I just built and I hope y'all like it. All right, let's get right into it. I'm Johnny Nerd out. I am a professional e-bike builder. Can I? I build e-bikes. I build a lot of these guys. Check out my other videos. I do a lot of nerdy crap on it. You might like it. If you like this one, you might like that stuff. Maybe. So this is a Trek Nico women's bike. Customer was looking for something low powered. They didn't even want the full power that this, that this thing is capable of. They had me water it down to make sure the top speed was just, just like 20 miles per hour. So it's a real mild ride now. It's actually pretty nice. Like if you're just getting into e-bikes for the first time, it's really nice to just be able to dial it down and to change all the settings on this bike so that it's really soft. It's even more subdued than, than it normally is. So yeah, and I think this bike is gonna be great. It's a woman's bike, so it's a low step. It's easy to get in and off of. You can see there's no battery here. This isn't even the battery. This is just for cargo. This is actually the battery. It's the 52 volt six amp hour referred to as the mighty mini i think luna cycle started calling it that now everyone just calls it that but yeah it's a real small battery fits right in here nice nice tight under the seat very inconspicuous really clean looking i really like that it's paired with the bafang bbs 2 rated at 750 watt the way this is configured though the way that i programmed it it's probably never going to pull more than 350 to 500 watts probably but if you ever want to upgrade it, you totally can. Which is why I always recommend getting the 750 watt version of this motor. It's the same motor, whether you get the 36, 350 watt, 500 watt, or 750 watt version, they pre-program it to make it lower down. And you can't go higher, which is kind of dumb. Because at least here, you could start fully unlocked and you could dial it down and make it a 350 watt, 500 watt, whatever you want to make it. But if you start with a 350 watt, you can't go up higher, at least as of right now, until someone hacks it and you can do it. For the display, we went with a 500C display. It's really nice, small, full color, shows you everything you need. I really like that display. Because it has an inline combination gear shifter and brake, we had to do with an inline brake cutoff, which is really nice because then you're able to just save this unit and not have to replace it and get a whole new seven speed shifter and all that. So. It's kind of nice being able to reuse as many parts as you can. Because it is a mid-drive, we put the gear shift sensor on it, and that just cuts power momentarily while you're shifting gears so that power is not going to the derailleur and all this while you're putting power on it. I mean, you're gonna, it's just gonna hurt your, your chain and your cassette, and you're gonna do damage. You don't need one of those. You could always just barely press the brake to cut power to the motor and then shift. Or you could just get really good at not pedaling and waiting for it to stop and then shift. But totally recommend getting one of these. And yeah, this is a nice comfortable ride. It's got 700C tires, front suspension fork. It's got a nice gel seat on it. Nice mirror. This is one of the best accessories you could put on an e-bike is put a mirror. So much safer than to just glance down and see what's behind you than to turn your head all the way. Because when you turn your head and your body, you have a tendency to go where you're, where you're looking. So when you turn left and look behind, you have a tendency to steer that way. And if there is a car coming that way, you just steer right into it. So get a mirror. Those are like top accessories to put on your bike. And it's like 15, 20 bucks. It's a nice, simple bike. I'm not going to do any performance tests on it, obviously, because we watered it down. Yeah, this is just a nice comfort cruising bike. Still got your water bottle holder here. It's got a small battery, so you're not going to get the range, but you're still going to get 15, 20 mile range out of this because it's watered down. 15, 20 miles is easily attainable. I'd say even more. Let me know if you have any questions comments just don't comment on my mom jeans i already know that i'm wearing them i just want to address the elephant in the room but any any comments non-related to my mom jeans be happy to reply back to you have a good one guys